Hi, Recap fans. Happy New Year to every one of you. And now as we get into uh, 2022, we're going to continue bringing you all the news that the uh, mainstream media ignores. And the first bit of news concerns my uh, grandson, Tim, who has broken into the world of uh, video production. He put this video up on uh, TikTok. Check it out. Well, I don't know what to say about that video other than it's, I thought, a terrific job. Uh, I can tell you this, his mother is hopping mad that uh, the summit schools have uh, gone virtual, uh, I guess because of this uh, Omicron or COVID-19, whatever the problem is, and uh, her kids are at home trying to, trying to learn on computers. It's, it's a shame. Now, also in uh, the world of uh, media, uh, my nephew, Michael Clear, who you may recall is a, a movie producer out in uh, California, in Hollywood, uh, he's got a new show that's coming on uh, Netflix on uh, January 14th. Uh, the name of the show is uh, Archive 81, and his previous uh, productions have been absolutely excellent. I certainly recommend that you uh, check this one out. And once again, it's Archive 81, Netflix, January 14th. Now, my sister Eileen uh, suggested that I do a report on the difference between gloves and mittens, uh, which sounds like a really good idea. The problem is I don't have either one down here in uh, Vero Beach. It's uh, just not absolutely not cold enough to be able to do it. And my suggestion to Eileen is take a leaf out of Tim's book, do it yourself. You can send it to me and I will give you a platform and you can reach the entire recap audience with this. So that's my suggestion there. Uh, oh, uh, I've got a public service announcement. Uh, the uh, Vero Beach, well, not actually Vero Beach, the Indian River County Sheriff's Department has started open up, opening up some uh, cold cases. And the one they're starting with is uh, the disappear or the murder, actually, not the disappearance, of a man named Brandon Gilly, who uh, uh, in, uh, what was it, A April of, uh, of uh, 2018, uh, disappeared from his home in Sebastian, and was, his body was subsequently discovered in Felsmere. Now, both of those towns are adjacent to, uh, to Vero Beach. If you have any information, any information whatsoever about Brendan Gilly, uh, please call uh, Crime Stoppers. The number is right here on the screen. I can guarantee you total anonymity. And uh, actually, the... Uh, uh, Indian River County Sheriff's Office will appreciate any help, any help that, that anybody can do. And by the way, you know, in the past, uh, recap fans have really helped out the Indian River County Sheriff's Office with uh, different cases that we've highlighted on this show. And uh, once again, we recommend if you have any information about Brandon Gilly, call the Indian River County Sheriff's Office or call the Crime Stoppers number. Uh, let's see. Now, let me recap the week for you. 
Uh, New Year's Eve, uh, Karen, the weather and a girl and I did absolutely nothing. We were in bed at uh, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, something we do every New Year's Eve. Uh, this week we finished uh, two uh, series seasons. One was Yellowstone, and I, I've got to say that show continues to amaze, continues to amaze. And it's a uh, worthy sequel, I think, to Game of Thrones, uh, to The Sopranos. It's right up there with all the best uh, TV shows you've ever seen. So we finished uh, that season, season four of Yellowstone, and we finished season six of a BBC crime show called Shetland. It takes place in the Shetland Islands, which, as you know, is in the uh, northern part of Scotland. Uh, we watched it on BritBox, and it is absolutely outstanding the way most of these uh, BBC show shows are. Uh, so we did that. Uh, all our Christmas decorations are down. Uh, we did that Monday morning. It was quick. It was easy. Uh, and they're all put away. Um, I had one of my best video shooting days uh, ever on uh, Tuesday up in the uh, Fort Pierce Inlet. I haven't uh, put together a video on that, but I will very, very soon. But anyway, that I think that was Tuesday. Uh, I had a... Uh, uh, an appointment at the VA to do the blood tests and uh, urine analysis and whatnot uh, this week. And I'll, I'll give you a little tip. Here's my strategy on that urine analysis. Because the thing that I hate is you, you get in there, they give you the cup, send you to the bathroom, and then you can't go. Now, what I do is I have a bottle of water before I leave the house in the morning. And I bring a bottle of water with me in the car and I drink it as I get, I finish it up in the parking lot at the VA. Then when I get in there uh, and they hand you the cup, I got absolutely no problem whatsoever, lose no time waiting around for something to happen. So it's a little tip for you. Uh, and of course, uh, the results on the blood test and uh, urine analysis will be available next week, and I'll, of course, feature it somehow or other on uh, next week's recap. Now, also in the week coming up, uh, apart from my annual VA physical, uh, we're going to have Bark in the Park on uh, Saturday. Uh, I covered this last year. I'll cover it again. Uh, it takes place in Riverside Park, and it's a kind of a dog show. And, uh, yeah, you tune in and you'll get all the highlights of Bark in the Park. Uh, see, I, I mentioned the VA physical. Uh, that uh, concludes this week's report, uh, including all the uh, events that are coming up. Uh, I certainly uh, hope you have a great week. Uh, I know that there's a bunch of snow going on up in, uh, up in the north. It, it hasn't happened down here. It's been a little cool, but the weather is... Uh, is uh, quite good. Anyway, that's uh, this week's recap. Everybody take care. Have a great week. Uh, we'll see you next week. Same time, same place.